So what about this party? Or what was this party about? For me, it wasn't so much about turning 80. 80 is really just a number. About a year ago, even, my kids started talking about how we had to have an 80th birthday. Frankly, I wasn't interested all that much. And I know that's hard to believe. <laughs> But <clears throat> I, will, I just thought I'd like to go up to the land or do something, I don't know. Um, then I realized it mattered a lot to other people that this should be, this, this would be probably the last big party, so it was big all right. But what mattered to me? I had certain things I had two things I cared about. Well, three. <laughs> the first, I, I hate parties. I just hate them. It's the same old people standing around having the same conversation. When people were trying to get me to say, what did I want with this party? It was, I knew what I didn't want. I didn't want people standing around having the same conversations they have at every other party, which have nothing to do with the party. It's about their exes, or their jobs, or their finances, their cars, their boats, whatever. I just didn't want that. Yeah, I'm a control freak. I wanted, I, I wanted to have something to say about what kind of an event it was going to be. I didn't know what I wanted it to be, but I knew what I wanted it not to be. And I wanted a chair. <laughs> I wanted a, a throne. I mean, this was this is the chance, right? 80, 80, that's, that's the big one, that's power. And I wanted a throne. Uh, not about ego so much as, as about so that I would have a, a place where I could see everything, that people wouldn't have to look, uh, I wouldn't have to be all the time looking up at people sitting on a chair, and uh, I wanted to have an opportunity to relate with everybody there one-on-one. -on -one. So I was in a place where people could come and I could have some meaningful contact with them. The third thing, which was very, very important to me, was I wanted to do a video piece which would explain to these people who are, much as I love them, most of them are way behind the times when it comes to having even a vague idea of what vlogging is. And I wanted to show them what it is and what it has meant in, in my life. I wanted to make a piece, a video piece with bits from old vlogs that would um, maybe show the meaning of this. Well, there are more aspects than my vlogs. There's JD Productions tribute. Uh, there's the beautiful tribute, which I didn't get into this piece, of, of Sid's tribute. And <clears throat> so that gets you onto another layer also. Everybody said it wouldn't work. You can't have video at a party and expect anybody to watch it. That, and you can't have it. You could maybe have like five minutes, but even then you can't expect them to watch it and be quiet and listen to it. That just can't happen. I got all that, a lot of that kind of input. So that's when I decided that I would have uh, my, my persona uh, quotable critic Alibut me do a running commentary with the vid so that would add a live aspect to the piece. It was very complicated. It was complicated making the piece and it was really complicated getting it installed into uh, the Glamorama. Uh, Paul and Dahl came through with flying colors, Brooke Hinton also, with uh, supplying the projector, the screen, uh, 
and running the, running it for me. I had a lot of help. I had help from uh, Janine Hansen on the sound, and it was it was great. And I <clears throat> and it came off. Then the morning of the party, online there was this piece of uh, Ken River vlogger. Um, that just put the capper on the whole thing. So there it was in the morning, and I was trying to get ready to, to go to the party and get packed up and everything. I dropped everything so that I could download his piece and put it into Final Cut, make a QuickTime movie. Well, I edited it too. Put it into QuickTime, made a DVD so that I could take that, and that was the capper. So after, <clears throat> I think by the time we got through my performance piece, I had them. They were, the audience was still as a mouse and, and enjoying it. There was, it, it, it worked. They know something about vlogging now. And then I said, or Alagutmi said, <laughs> that um, this piece had been online this morning. And perhaps this will give another layer of what a vlogging means. Now, Kennergy, who was at the party, lucky for me, has made a beautiful uh, report on the party. And it's in two parts. There we are. We're on another level. Now we're watching another YouTubers, who in, he and also included on Moose and uh, Octobi and uh, Fantastic Babblings. They're in it too. And they're uh, wishing me a happy birthday. And uh, Kennergy has incorporated that into his video about the party. So in a sense, they are at the party. Uh, <laughs> people don't, I don't know, most people, the, the infinite layers you know, I said very early on when I started vlogging, and I still think it's true, vlogging is foreplay, and we don't know what for. So I'm going to post the links to Kennergy's uh, party video. It's in two parts. I'll post both um, links here at the, uh, next to this video. Thanks for your interest in the countdown. It was two months of preparation, this party, and now it's gone. It's over. It's like a dream. Except I have these videos.